Hi guys and welcome back for another video on my channel. This is the first video of a series I'm doing which will be focusing on transforming our home from cluttered to a calm space we can enjoy spending time together. If you haven't seen my blog yet, I will link it down below. I've written an article to kick off this series over there with some tips and tricks on how healing your home and living more intentionally is a journey of self-discovery and how I go about decluttering and organizing my home. For today's video, I'm going to declutter my closet which I've gotten completely out of hand. So let's get started. So what you can see here is I've got more than sufficient space in my closet for all my clothes. I really do not like any space. I've also got some cupboards up there. They are not keeping clothes in them at the moment. I just need to throw some things out and reorganize it in a way that's going to work better for me. And I wish that I had more of these little drawers because you can see these are all my little dresses and you can just see I literally roll up my dresses and I just put them in here and this stays pretty organized. I can probably get rid of at least 75% of my shoes that I'm no longer wearing. I've got some heels that I'm really just not wearing anymore since I'm no longer working in the corporate world. Another thing about my closet is I keep all my clothing in here for all seasons. I do not keep my winter and fall items in another closet so literally everything i wear is in one closet is as i'm taking things out i'm gonna throw them out if i immediately know that i no longer need or want them and whatever i'm not sure of i'm gonna make a maybe pile of which i'm gonna go through at the end and whatever i know i'm definitely keeping i'm gonna already as i take it out I'm going to already organize it into little piles on my bed so that by the time my closet is empty everything is already in kind of an organized state so it isn't as much of an effort to then go through another step of organizing then there's only minimal organizing left. So that's how I'm going to go about doing this today. I've not decluttered beforehand everything you see is the state of what it is in now and also what it's been like for a couple of months so I'm looking forward to decluttering between 50 and 75 percent of what is in there at the moment Welcome to the 2-3 Breathe Live. I hope that you will stick around and subscribe. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to press that bell button so that you will be notified as soon as I release a new video. I make motherhood and lifestyle videos on this channel. Anything from parent-friendly tips, decluttering, to uplifting content for those of you who lead busy lives and need some motivation.
So this is so far the clothes I'm keeping and that is the shoes I'm keeping for now and then on my bedside table there is all the junk that does not belong inside my closet so I'm going to get a basket to put all of that in so that I can just go and put them away in the correct places later that so far is the pile it's actually spread a bit spread a little bit but that is the pile I'm getting rid of so far and in my opinion this is way too many clothes and I don't need all of this so I'm going to go through these piles again before I put them back and decide what I'm still going to throw out I wasted all my time I wasted all my nights Wasted it on someone who's indifferent He didn't love me right He told me I was blind But I never really wanted to listen To have a Pinterest perfect closet you don't need to have a Pinterest perfect kitchen or room I think social media has putting so much pressure on us to not just have functional lives but also beautiful lives and not everything needs to be beautiful and pretty and everyone can't afford that and everyone that's just not realistic to live that way so don't put pressure on yourself if your hangers are not all the same color and all the same style don't go and put that pressure on yourself use what you have and do what you can with what you've got you don't need to spend a ton of money to declutter a closet and that's what i want to show you today i've not spent a single cent on today's video to declutter my closet i'm just gonna make use of the space I've got and the tools I have to get this as functional as I can and as practical as I can for me and for my everyday use of my closet and of my closet. this is what I'm getting rid of in the two plastic bags it might not look as that much but it, when it was a heap of 
loose clothes and shoes and stuff lying here it was quite a bit so those are some of the shoes that I've got left these are the shoes I wear the most and I don't think I need any more than this the only thing that I might get is another pair of white sneakers because my white sneakers I had to also get rid of because they're not looking good anymore and then this is all my yoga clothes over here my training jacket and my sports bras and in here I've got quite a few tops so this side is more tank tops um, of color and um, and different patterns and then on this side I've got t-shirts and in the middle here I've got some more tank tops and then in this drawer I've got all my dresses so I got rid of quite a few of these as well believe it or not but I've got a few left it's little dresses and little top type dresses that I wear with leggings sometimes in the winter so you've got that yeah and then I also I've got I had some space left so I decided to put some of my shorts in here as well over here I've just got PJs and little tops that I sleep in and then I've got some undergarments what that I sometimes wear under dresses that see through this I also wear with some longer top or dresses when it's a little bit cooler and then something that I did still leave in here because I just don't want Jaden to get a hold of them and we do need it um, sometimes unexpectedly so is a Vicks Vaporub some Bernardo's because Niku's allergic to other to most other pain meds and then my perfume a lot of people always ask me which perfume I use and it is the Amor Amor perfume and then if you go up I've got all my jeans here and then I've got two three pairs of leggings I might get one more pair just of another color maybe white or a grayish tone and then if you go up that is all my winter clothing so that is what I'm gonna be moving down in the winter but for now that's it and then you'll see a little bundle there and it doesn't look very neat but it's because it's wrapped dresses and that material is impossible to fold or to hang because it's so slippery it just falls off most hangers and this side doesn't look much clearer than it was but I did get rid of a few things here I must say I've got I definitely don't need any more winter jackets or jerseys because on this side I've got my beautiful pretty special occasion dresses and um, a kimono a long kimono I've got that there and then I've got a rain jacket which I basically only use when I travel overseas and we're in a rainy country I take that one so I'm literally hanging on to it just for traveling purposes and this one as well it's an extremely warm fuzzy jacket so this also it doesn't often get this cold in South Africa that I need it and then I've got my coat over here I've got this nice green one and this nude color and then I've got another jacket which I've had forever I just can't seem to get rid of this jacket because I love it so much so I'm hanging on to it a little bit longer this is more of a casual jacket that I wear when I pick Jaden up from school or something like that it's very casual and then these are the same as my coats but they are shorter so they're more jacket like so not as warm and then I've got three long button up jerseys over here and then all my kimonos 
i've kept some of those because i do like wearing them especially in autumn when it gets a little bit cooler but it's not cold enough to wear a jersey or jacket yet and then i kept one dress this is also one that i should probably get rid of but i just love it so much <laughs> So I'm keeping that one. These are fairly new dresses that I'm also keeping. I love the stripes. And I've got pockets, which is really nice. And then just these are all tops that I also wear around about autumn time. So you can see most of my winter and autumn-y clothes that you didn't see up there um, is actually hung up in this closet. So even though this looks like a lot of clothes, this is more my winter stuff autumn cooler weather kind of things so these tops i always wear then over clothes over tank tops and then i've got my skirts over here and then these are just some scarves i also i did throw out some scarves some of them i'm also again more keeping for sentimental purposes <laughs> and anything else and that's what makes decluttering so difficult and that's okay if you can't let go of, go of something now and you have the space to keep it then keep it and but know that in another three or six months when you are decluttering again if you see that just take a note in the back of your mind that if you do go through your closet then that you pay special attention to that item and deciding if you want to keep it or let go this is just an extra robe i've got i also usually use this one when i'm traveling i've got one that i use more often at home i've got special baby things in here special blankets his special toys the um the little outfit we brought him home in so there's really sentimental and special things in here. If you watched where I decluttered my makeup and all my hair things, I decluttered these two little cases that I'm just keeping in here. And that's my makeup that I don't use on a daily basis. And then we've got a couple of shoes left down here. And at the back, I've got my exercise shoes my tackies and my dancing shoes and my spinning shoes and then I'm only keeping these three pairs of high shoes if you will so one red one nude and one black slash nude heel and that is the only high shoes i'm keeping for when i'm wearing something a bit more formal and then the last place is up here it looks so much better a few things here my hats are scale back there i put my spinning little um seat cover and in that little bag is my ipod and my gymming gloves and all of that so i just put it neatly in there these are my wedding shoes which I'm very fond of so I don't really wear them anymore because they're so special to me but I do want to keep them so they're in here I'm thinking of doing something with hats and these shoes sometimes something decorative and then I've just got my two purses here my two additional purses I'm really not someone who gets tons of purses or bags tote bags or anything so i've got this polo one which was a gift from niku one year and then i've got a fancy little clutch purse in there as well and that's it oh and at the back there is a projector that i need to get repaired
project, you come a step closer to a newfound freedom that a decluttered life gifts you. Each one opening your soul a little more to new meaningful discoveries as you declutter your mind while working through the chaos in your life. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and that you will join me for the next area of my home that I'll be decluttering and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.